Hi there. Here we are. Day nine of my challenge <clears throat> for shifting your mindset. Um, it's really pouring down today. We've had such um, a warm August so far, uh, but also very dry. So now finally we're getting some rain, but it's bucketing down. Um, so I'm sitting in my uh, little annex where I work and do my um, have my clients and play the piano and and we're going to talk about um, gratitude. Gratitude is actually in a way I thought about it. It's quite a easy topic. Um, you know, fear and worry and money and all this is it's sort of because we made it all so complex and it is to us a complex topic or they are complex topics to us because we have a lot of attachments to them a lot of stories around all these um, lower topics gratitude is actually quite simple uh, it's just um, gratitude <laughs> so um, why do I want to talk about gratitude well now that we've been through some of the challenging topics gratitude is a light uplifting um, emo um, energy if you like um, I work with energy so I often um, talk about energies and, and they've also measured it the frequency of the the thought of gratitude and the emotion of gratitude is much much quicker and higher than that of these lower ones fear and shame and well anger is sort of more a little bit higher as well there's action to it so <clears throat> but gratitude what gratitude does, which is very cool, for one thing, you cannot be afraid while you're feeling grateful about something. It doesn't work. You cannot um, feel shame. You cannot feel, um, uh, well, anger uh, when, you're, when you're grateful. When you're in the, the focus, when you allow yourself to be grateful, consciously about something you will there's no room for fear there's no room for for blame or victim and all these other things that's one thing the other thing that gratitude does it it, it tells you as i mentioned yesterday it tells you that um you appreciate receiving so it sets your mind to the the mindset of receiving of opening up to receive um, and it sort of programs you to do more of that to receive easier to receive more so it both sort of pushes aside all the lower negative emotions and energies and it opens up to that beautiful flow of abundance that we talked about as well yesterday and and the flow of, of uh, well self-love because when you open up to receive, you open up to giving yourself something of value to you. So gratitude is a very, very powerful tool, if you like. Um, and, and yes, we can go around saying, oh, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for that. But if you give it just a little bit of attention and notice what are you indeed grateful for, then that's when all this magic happens. And... Uh, a lot of people talk about writing uh, gratitude journals, writing lists of gratitude, and it works for a lot of people. It doesn't work so much for me because I end up just writing. Um, you have to do it with intent, and I get a little stressed with it. Because, but instead, what I'm doing, I do it sometimes, and sometimes it really helps because when I feel stuck, that's when I you, sort of, and you need to put things down on paper with a pen because it connects you to the words. Um, but... I also, when I go for walks with my dog or when I meditate or when I just remember to do it during the day, I bring my attention to something that I can appreciate and I say a word, we're having some uh, internet issues here, it was stopping a little bit. Okay, um, so if we sort of fall out a little bit, it might be due to the thunder <laughs> and the weather. But anyway, so the, this... Um, giving attention uh, with uh, consciously to a topic to something that you're grateful for is enough it's all you need to do 
But what you can do to start, or if you're not used to doing this sort of thing, you can take a piece of paper and a pen and write, let's say, let's start with three things that you're very grateful for. And it doesn't have to be big. And it doesn't have to be, you don't have to think that you have to have a lot of stuff or a lot of money or whatever in order to feel grateful. You can be grateful for having access to water. Water. You can be grateful for that smile that you receive from somebody along the street, on the street or in the shop. You can be grateful for um, someone that you care for. You can be grateful for... Well, I can be grateful for having these great cushions to sit up against, up against, and for this great picture that my brother gave me as a, he's a photographer, that he, he gave me as a present. Okay, we're having trouble again. I've, I've switched to 4G now. Let's see if that helps. Um, so we fell out a bit again with the internet. Um, a bit unstable. As I said, there's thunder and lightning here, quite powerful. <laughs> so, um, yes, what can you um, be grateful for? And then, of course, include yourself, please. Uh, day three, we talked about the relationship with yourself. What is it with you that you can be grateful for? Anything. It can be um, something physical. It can be um, a talent. It can be a w the way you deal with something, an event you tackled in a good way, uh, that you cook good food, whatever it is. And I see my mother's watching and she cooks amazing meals when she has guests with hundreds, I mean, too much, too many courses. And that's something for you to be grateful for, mom, um, for your talent to do this. So, um, and, and just notice, um, include yourself because this is so important because uh, the more we enhance and better the relationship with ourselves, the more we want to add good things to our lives because we want to, uh, receive. We open up to receiving and the gratitude. So it's a cycle. The more you manage to be grateful for something, the more you open up to receiving. It's an act of self-love and then you start being grateful for including, you know, parts of yourself. And it's a cycle. It's a beautiful cycle. And I invite you to, to try it on. Practice it. Might need a little bit of practice. And if you've lose it if you forget don't worry don't stress about it just appreciate every time and be grateful for every time you remember to be grateful for instance um so it's 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 a little bit of a game you know play with it be playful explore what can you what do you want to shift <clears throat> excuse me what can you shift um uh, do you want to shift are you sure if not, fine, give it a rest. Maybe you want to shift a bit later. Maybe you're comfortable where you are, even though then it doesn't really do you a lot of service. But I think if, there, if you're watching here, there are a lot of reasons people are, are seeking this kind of challenges or advice is because the, something in them is pushing them forward to making a shift for a better place for them to be, emotionally mainly. But also what happens when you start doing that, like when you start receiving, uh, with gratitude, you will receive more abundance in all kinds of ways. Um, because you will open up to it, you will notice it, you will receive it, and you will probably make steps, take steps and make choices that will enable more of that, those gifts. Uh, whether it be uh, in relations, whether it be in, in, in just emotions, enjoyment, nature, uh, money, anything. Uh, it, it all goes in the same kind of energy and flow. The moment you start opening up, the moment you start receiving, and it's all um, can be easily effectuated by gratitude. As I said in the beginning, I find gratitude an easy topic, a simple topic, an easy to topic, but it's so powerful. Because it's just that, just saying thank you. So if you don't know what gratitude feels like, maybe you're you're, you've had your all your life you've had the focus of lack or fear or maybe you're not quite sure what it feels like you know what what it is to say thank you but do you know what it really feels like explore it if you really oh thank you oh wow that is so cool thank you explore the words the expressions do it to yourself you don't have to show anybody else that you're doing but i do that when i go for a walk wow cool oh i love this and i've started in the beginning i was a bit shy 
or with expressing gratitude it's part of our society or upbringing or whatever but um it's very strange but it's as if complaining has more status and more um acceptance than than gratitude which is absolutely strange and weird to me now but i used to be a little shy shy so i'd have to sort of say it to myself and now when something happens i actually announce it to my surroundings saying wow this guy called today he's gonna help me you know um uh, and so the ex the grass sense of gratitude just be becomes bigger and what happens is that other people can take part in the celebration they can enjoy and you lift their uh, emotions as well you help them to have a nicer day even though it's your gratitude because you share the joy it's contagious i promise you joy and laughter is contagious just as as anger and um stress can be contagious and fear not to mention like we've had this pandemic all this fear going on okay again if you go to the gratitude there's no room you cannot do both at the same time you can try it see what i mean if you try to be really grateful about something and then try to fit in fear at the same time not swapping it doesn't it doesn't go so um, that's another way i've talked about fear and anxiety and, and worry and and other topics uh, in previous days and you can use this gratitude as part of as a, as a way of breaking that if you want to if you get stuck in a stress and a worry and a fear you can try and push in a bit of gratitude and see what happens as well in addition to what I already mentioned so I think uh, I'll leave it at that we'll do the three breaths again and then we'll do a little uh, visualization a little heart opening for gratitude and for receiving so um, uh, if you when you breathe in take three deep breaths and as you breathe in imagine that you're gathering yourself to your center again Bring in all the energy, all the thoughts, all that you've placed everywhere or anywhere around the world, time, space, whatever. Bring it into your center. And as you breathe out, bring it all the way down to your hips, all the way down to the ground, grounding yourself. And when you breathe in again, allow yourself to let go of all the people and the events that you've still stuck in, in your energy and your thoughts. Allow just let it go for now you can come back to it later and bring yourself into your center and as you breathe out ground it way down into your hips and all the way into the ground and let's do one last breath where you're bringing the last remains of whatever energy is out there in time space dimension whatever into your center through your heart all the way down as you breathe out to your core your hip and your ground And then we bring our attention to our heart again. And you can put your hands on your heart, if, uh, your heart if that um, feels good for you. Or you can uh, just think about it, focus. Imagine that there's, um, there's a light, there's a ball of gratitude, a ball of joy in the centre of your heart. It can take any shape or it can be a light or a spark or a crystal or whatever just imagine it in there and it's waiting to expand so that you can feel this gratitude of being you and being alive and of everything that you have been given and are given in every moment so imagine that this energy this center in your just imagine it the center in your heart is doing the work for you let the thoughts go imagine that you're opening up your chest <clears throat> you can do it physically you can sit back a bit and open up your chest and allow this light this energy to just expand through you filling every cell of your body with gratitude and with appreciation and love of, for you and for all that you are and have and imagine it permeating through your entire body cleansing all the junk, upgrading every cell to a place of gratitude, joy, peace, and expand it beyond your body into a big, big circle around you. An arm's length, 
from all at arm's length from all sides of your body above and below but you can even expand further if you like you can expand to all the people that you were with before but with the with the intent of gratitude and love to these people or to these places expand this circle as much as you like and with it send this appreciation love and gratitude for having them in your life for being in your life and then you can imagine that you bring this energy field this magnetic field back closer to you at an arm's length so it surrounds you at all sides and above and below and imagine that you would set this intention of gratitude for your day and for your way forward and ask this field of energy just as if it's in its its own intelligence ask it to remind you to be grateful as often as you can for the small things and for the large things and for everything that comes your way so that you notice them and appreciate them and then finally as thanks and gratitude to your heart for being you for yourself because you're a magnificent human being you're unique you're the only one who can be like you. Remember that. Okay. Have a beautiful day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. It's going to be a day of celebration. We're going to work with visualiz uh, vi visualization. Sorry. And it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. See you then. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.